with Stadium Court at the Clandon Park Tennis Centre cooking away nicely under the Miami morning sun, the heat of competition was set to resume with the final third round ties including a return to court of two-time Miami champion and world number two Andy Murray. The British number one is aiming to reach his fourth final here in five years and taking on the Scot in round three, a Grigor Dimitrov hoping to return to his top ten form of 2014. The Bulgarian may not have beaten a top ten opponent since May last year, but it soon became clear Murray was in a battle. Let me make that look so simple. The Scot took the opening set in a tie-break, but then came a sudden Bulgarian backlash. Uh, it's just unfortunate. They committed to come forward, and it just pops up, and it's it's easy for Dimitrov. Broken twice, and four love down. Murray's emotions came spilling out. The match levelled. Murray was wilting, but Dimitrov's confidence was growing. Be a nice little shot of adrenaline to kick things off after a six minute delay. Recovering from a breakdown in the deciding set, the Bulgarian broke again, and this time there was no way back for an off car Murray. Welcome back, Grigor Dimitrov. A top 10 win and knocking down the obstacle that has been Andy Murray. I'm happy with the win. This is the one thing that I'm going to say is that I'm happy with the win and I felt I've, you know, I've pushed his limit a little bit today uh, throughout the, the course of the match. So, um, yeah, definitely good win for me. Um, on to the next one. Over on grandstand, Kane Shikori held a three-love head-to-head record over Alex Dolgopolov and after sailing through the opening set, the Japanese number one really began to turn on the style in the second. Oh. <laughs> uh, Dolgopolov just gave up on it just to admire what he thought was going to say a wide. With two breaks of serve again in the second set, Nishikuri was making light work of a potentially challenging opponent. Just a couple of baiting shots, not a lot on them before Nishikuri pulls the trigger. After just over an hour, match points arrived on the Dolgopolov serve. Game and set a match. Quick work on a hot day for Nishikori, who doesn't suffer in this environment at all. He's quite used to it. Finding his way, hitting through the court, and eliminating Doug Apollo to advance on to the round of 16. America versus Canada in the evening session, with Milos Raonic edging a tight opening set against Jack Sock. Oh, that's unbelievable. Sock did so well to dig that volley out. Sok failed to recover his momentum after coming so close to the second set. A more comfortable ride for Raonic. He's in the form with such authority at the moment. Try as he might. It's been that sort of evening for Sok. Milos Raonic is the last man into the run of 16 here in Miami. He completes the lineup. Earlier in the day, Roberto Bautista Agut defeated ninth seed Joe Wilfrid Songa after going a set down for the second time in 2016. Songa becoming the latest in a growing list of top seeded scalps in Miami. And well done. Roberto Bautista Agut dismisses the nine seed and another seed falls in Miami. Nick Kyrgios continues to make amends for his early exit in Indian Wells, a comfortable straight sets victory over American Tim Smychek. 6-4, 6-4, the final score. And one of the great entertainers of the game, Gael Monfi, is also through to round four. Pablo Cuevas seen off in just over an hour. It's been another dramatic day of surprise results on Key Biscayne. Grigor Dimitrov back in form and the world number two given an early exit. All eight round of 16 matches to come in a packed Tuesday lineup.